Hey guys, Thunder E here and uh, welcome. Now, as you can see, I've got the Sony WH-1000 Mark IVs and in this video, I'm gonna compare them to the WH-1000 Mark IIIs. Now, the Mark IIIs for me were my favorite pair of active noise cancellation headphones from last year. And I want to see how the Mark IVs compare. And I think that you're going to find it quite intriguing how Sony has placed both headphones. So in terms of looks, they look the same. I mean, they look practically the same. Very small things that differentiate them, like the NFC logo on the Mark III is in white, the Mark IV is engraved, uh, little things like that. But uh, overall, they visually look the same. They have even similar cases, if you will, uh, and packaging altogether, just a different case color. Now, when we take a closer look at the Mark IVs, uh, the button layout is just slightly changed. It's a power button, there's a headphone jack, there's also a custom button for you to set for either your ambient noise or, of course, your uh, voice assistance. Now, ambient noise goes to level 20 and it's got that adaptive, uh, adaptive sound to, again, some of those great features you find in this Sony app. Now, you've got NFC tap to pair, which is really easy and simple to use, but you've also got controls on your right ear cup for volume up, volume down, left to right. Similar controls to the Mark III's, but they feel much smoother and easier this year. Uh, you don't have to really triple tap or double tap. It just, it feels very fluid to actually use them. Now, in terms of new features, there's one you are, you'll actually see as a physical feature, but also a feature that works well with the headset, is if you look at the left ear cup, there is a divot and also has like a small window. That window is a sensor so that when you're listening to music and you take your headphones off, it actually pauses the music for you. And that's a great feature, Some, something we've seen in the headsets, good to see here. Another feature I do like is something called speak to chat. Now, speak to chat allows you to basically start a conversation with your headphones on. Somebody's come to you, listen to music, or you have ANC on, and once you start talking, basically ANC stops, the music stops, and you can hear them without taking your headphones off. It's got a setting there uh, in the app where you can set how long the mode goes for, 15, 30 seconds or a minute. And then also the sensitivity. I have, it, I have an automatic, but you can do high sens sensitivity to your speech or low sensitivity. But let me just show you how it actually works. I'm gonna put my headphones on, play some music, and you can watch me pause it. So once I start talking, this is actually paused. I didn't touch my headphones, I didn't touch any of the controls, and I love that feature, and I think a lot of people will like that, something the Mark IVs have, the Mark III's don't. Another feature, of course, is the fact that you can connect to two devices at the same time. It clearly shows you in the app, and it's a great feature, and shows you what are the devices you're paired to currently and what other device you're paired to that actually isn't active at this point. So again, some nice new additions, but one of the main things is of course is audio. How well does it sound? What's the difference? Uh, the Mark III sounded great. Some people uh, didn't like the extra bass heaviness to it. I think it's a little less on the Mark IVs. I also like the sound stage. It feels a little bit brighter for me. Um, I also like to use the EQs quite well. Very detailed EQs. Uh, and some of the presets are really good. I tend to use Bright if I'm using any of the presets or I customize my EQs as well. Uh, but here's just a quick uh, audio sample from uh, both headphones, so you get an idea of how they sound. You, you might not be able to tell, but there's a much bigger range on the Mark IVs. So that's what audio sounds like, and I think they do a really good job with these headphones. I think they're really solid. Uh, the Mark IVs just seem a little bit better on the higher notes and the lower notes. Now, when you talk, come to ANC, uh, both of them have some really great ANC, but I think the Mark IVs do a much better job at 
drowning out some of the higher notes as well as the lower. So if I were to do a calculation, I would say the Mark III's hit about a 90% ANC for me. The Mark IVs are 95, and trust me, you can't go wrong with the Mark III's, but the Mark IVs really do a good job. And Sony has continued that process with their, their I believe it's their QN1 uh, chip engine that allows for just some really great ANC. But also that combination, which a lot of people don't talk about, is how does ANC affect your audio? And the sound stage can be affected quite greatly with ANC. Sony's done a good job in balancing that where your sound stage feels pretty large instead of being really constricted. So you get to hear the music quite well uh, and it blocks out all that noise. You can probably hear a truck outside or something like that. Those are the kind of things that it just cuts off. Even my AC went on, the, the, I think the Mark IVs do a much better job in that aspect. Now, when it comes to the microphone, both of them had, uh, have really good mics. Now, the Mark III's had a solid mic from last year, but listen to the mic test, see how well the microphones sound, and then we'll get back. All right, guys, this is a microphone test of the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's. This is an indoor microphone test. You get a good idea of how it sounds indoors. We'll go to the Mark IVs, and then we'll go outdoors. Okay, guys, this is an indoor microphone test of the Sony WH-1000 Mark IVs. Give me an idea of how the microphone sounds indoors, and then we'll move outdoors as well. Okay, so this is the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's, and of course, this is a mic sample outdoors. Uh, it might get a little bit windy, even though it's not windy right now, and we might hear some honking, but a good idea of what the microphone sound at, like when you're talking on the phone, outdoors, chatting with some friends. Okay, so this is a microphone test of the Sony 1000 Mark IVs outdoors, giving you a good idea of how the microphone sounds like uh, and what to expect. Of course, it might get a little bit windy and also there might be some honking, but you get the general idea. So let's go ahead and uh, run this up. So there's one thing you would probably notice that the Mark IVs had some clipping with the audio. Now that is something I did not experience at all with any of my phone calls. Uh, I, I did uh, ask a bunch of people while having conversations with them and they didn't notice any of that. I think that might have been an issue with just recording. I tried recording it a couple of times, but that's just what happens. But focusing on the audio quality, I would say the Mark IVs do a good job at actually canceling a lot of background. So with the Mark III's, you heard more of the wind and just the surrounding air around uh, me, while with the Mark IVs, that kind of was cut off from there. So that's just something to take note. But I think the yeah, mics are very, very similar in terms of microphones. Now, battery life are also, is also similar with both of them. You do have 30 hours with uh, ANC on and 38 with ANC off. So great battery life all around. And I think you're definitely gonna enjoy and use them for a lot of hours. Uh, you've also got that quick charge feature, five minutes, you know, um, I believe it's five or 10 hours. I could be wrong, but it'll be on screen there for you. But I, they're both the same in terms of battery life and charging. Full charge takes you about three hours or so. I think overall though, both headphones are really good. The Mark III's are a solid pair of headphones and I think a lot of people will like them. And if you want to pick them up, I would say honestly, go ahead. Uh, the Mark IVs just take it to another level where the things that a lot of people complained about, Sony came in and fixed it. So, you know, we do have the ability to connect to two devices at once with the Mark IVs. Uh, you also have that speak uh, speech to, to chat feature. It's great to be able to just have your headphones on and have a conversation and the music automatically stops for you. Uh, that's great. Uh, the uh, addition of the custom button also as well. And also the app and you know, just the full functionality. Plus when you look at the audio, how the audio has been improved as well as also the ANC uh, altogether, you get a really solid pair of headphones. So to me, yes, the Mark IVs are definitely better and do showcase what Sony can do with active noise cancellation and audio altogether. But they are still both great headphones and I think the Mark IV is now the new king that everyone has to come in and be. So if you have any questions, or any comments about the Sony WH-1000 Mark IVs or even the WH-1000 Mark III's, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.